What is up, Star Wars fans? Welcome to the Star Wars Stop. One of my new favorite skins in this game is this Han Solo skin from the Solo season. And I had to pick it up and try and get a streak as soon as possible. So, Solo has always been a, a very pretty fun hero in Battlefront 2, at least for me. I do enjoy his playstyle, the combination between his blaster is one of the best blasters um, as far as just picking off enemies from far and close range. It's just a damn good gun. I think that if we're comparing it to other heroes' guns, you know, if you compare it to Bubba, Leia, Lando, pretty much anyone. I mean, Aiden, Phasma, he's got one of the best default ranges, unless we're comparing it to, like, Bosk's freaking sniper rifle. So, you can definitely snipe with Han's pistol. It's a really good pistol. The only thing is that Leia doesn't need to snipe with her pistol because she has freaking secondary fire, which is just incredible. So, anyways, my, my point is Han is a pretty damn good hero, but we have confirmed now that he is going to be getting a pretty insane buff. So, they are looking into adding a health regen star card for Han Solo. So, one of the... I am actually surprised, I mean, I, I never really try and get big streaks with Han Solo, I, they were, I just try and avoid him in Galactic Assault, to be quite honest with you, just because you can lose all your health so easily, he's so squishy, he doesn't really have a way to escape, he doesn't have a way to stun enemies, he doesn't have a lot of base health, he's just really just kind of, meh, you know what I'm talking for Galactic Assault, he's just, he's, he can dish out a lot of damage, but he is, he is definitely a glass cannon. At least Lando can, you know, stun a group of enemies or just drop a group of enemies instantly with his, uh, with his lucky shot. Whereas Han just he, he just doesn't feel up to par, to be honest with you. So it is good news he's getting the health buff. This is going to be a 50 something limb streak, 55 limb streak, I think. It's not my best Han Solo streak. If you want to see the best Han Solo streak, I think it's around 80 some auto limbs. That's uploaded. It's one of the older videos. Check it out if you like. But just want to showcase this new skin for sure and we will stay alive for the entire game we will slowly slowly lose health and have to play a little bit more cautious towards the end but all in all actually you know i don't even think i play that cautious towards the end. i think i start playing more aggressive towards the end um just because it's that you know at the end of end or you're in that little tiny room and you're just there's not really there's really only one way to play you have to get up close if you want to have any chance of getting any kills so uh, even if you are a squishy hero like Han, you're kind of forced to take chances. But I did luckily manage to stay alive the entire game, so you'll get to see this Han Solo skin really showcased in a pretty decent streak. Um, he's just not like the other, you know, heroes and villains in this game that can just go on fat 100 limb streaks like it's nothing. He is not a Palpatine, he is not an Aiden, he is just, he is no Princess Leia, he is just an okay hero right now. Now, I do think, though, that it, you'd think that this would be one of the worst maps to use them all just because of these spi speeder bikes. That You have the most spiteful people playing on those speeder bikes. They will just assault you relentlessly, just try and kill your heroes. Get on the speeder bike for 200 credits and try and kill your hero, which costs you 6,000 and up. And it just happens over and over and over again. But I found that Han's pistol was actually pretty damn good at dropping the speeders. I've played as other heroes on this map, like let's say Ray or Luke. I'll literally sit there swinging my lightsaber at a speeder bike and it won't do any damage. I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do against this 200 point speeder bike with my 6,000 point hero? But Han's blaster was actually dropping them really efficiently. So that actually made him really good to use on this map, surprisingly. Normally, you only want to use very good heroes on this map, because like I said, the speeder bikes will just relentlessly attack you. But Han actually turned out to be a pretty good option, and I managed to avoid the ATSDs just enough to stay alive. So, yeah, man, I mean, all in all, this is an okay map to use him on. I do think that his best map, if you want to just do really well with Han Solo, probably Death Star, perhaps. Starkiller Base is another good one to use him on, actually. Um, I do have another 50 some odd elimination with him, streak with him on Starkiller base with this skin. Let me know if you guys want to see that or if you just are good with one little minuscule streak or you want to see another one, you let me know. Or would you rather me just upload some of the higher streaks with other heroes and villains? I'm honestly not going to be playing Han Solo too much anymore. I don't really want to play him anymore until they buff him now that the buff is confirmed. 
I probably won't play Boba Fett too much anymore, I probably won't play Hansel, and I probably won't play Kylo Ren too much anymore. Just because they have confirmed buffs for them on the way, they're all going to get health cards, so I really don't see the point in playing them until those buffs come, to be quite honest with you. I'll just focus on playing the other heroes that are, are you know, well-balanced, but... That is it for my commentary, guys. If you want to watch the entire streak, feel free to do so. I do really, really, really like this skin, man. The voice actor is okay, but the skin is just... It's scary to me sometimes how good the technology is. I mean, if there's one thing that th these people know how to do is get, you know, visuals right. It is just scary. If you look at his face, he looks just like the actor that played Alden Ehrenreich. He looks just like him. If you look close up on this skin's face, I don't know how the hell they do it. It's it's pretty incredible. And um, it is nice that we're getting, you know, skins of this quality in DLC. It just makes me all the more hyped for the fact that we're getting Grievous, Dooku, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. I can't wait to see how incredible those, those heroes and villains look and the awesome skins that will likely come with them. But again, that is it for my commentary. Enjoy the entire streak. You like, you made a quick retreat from that ATSD there. It is definitely a fun gameplay to watch, but... Have an awesome day, guys.
missile pilot, by the way. Very reasonable rates. Making me nervous. Nobody touch that. I've seen Bantha droppings fight better than this.
Their ships are grounded. Our first victory in a new era.